What's up guys, OBF back here, back with an update to my last collection video. These are all the shoes that I've picked up since that last video. Keep in mind there are some shoes that I've done reviews on that won't be in this video. I've sold a couple pairs within the last couple months, so this is what I got left. So, start off with the GRs here. We got the Wax Canvas Authentic here in that camo colorway. Got the Hiker Laces. Got that Reverse Waffle Grip. That waxed upper. So definitely a great shoe for the outdoors. Keep your feet dry. Get some grip. Hope to be wearing these a little bit more during the fall. So these haven't gotten too much wear yet, but yeah, hopefully within the next season. Up next, we got the angled striped Authentics here in that navy colorway. One of my everyday shoes. Can't go wrong with the pair of simple navy vans. Got that angled stripe pattern on the interior of this shoe. Really love this shoe. Navy's probably my favorite color as far as Vans go. Up next we got the GR Old School. Got that classic suede and canvas combination. The white accents. Break these out every now and then. Up next, probably one of my favorite pairs as far as an everyday shoe got the twill Maderos here it's a very simple looking shoe shoe that goes with anything and everything it's very soft cotton upper here you got that dope interior doesn't look like a pair of vans that's for sure on the back here you got uh, some chipping there so I've been wearing these so much got some heel drag as well Dope shoe though. Then we got the black and white checkerboard authentic here. I believe these released back in like 2005 or something like that. The only pair to come with that off white checkerboard pattern as opposed to the true white one that you can get with the custom, customized authentics these days. So great shoe here. I haven't really worn these too much or at all. As a matter of fact, but the colors are pretty crazy on this or the, the checkerboard pattern. So hopefully I'll break these out soon. Then we got the CNL Eras here, canvas and leather. That gingerbread camo combination. Really like how these colors go together, especially those leather accents. Haven't worn these yet. Hopefully I'll wear these soon. Definitely in the fall. Got the Chima Ferguson's in that blue Hawaiian colorway. Probably the best skate shoe to come out of Vans since the Raleigh's back in like 07. Love this shoe. Up next, one of my favorites, my all time favorites here, the vintage 92 or 93 Authentics. I don't really remember. Got that quad stitching on the heel, that made in the USA heel tab. I actually wore these quite a bit when I first got them, so starting to get some wear, some heel drag here. It's actually why I picked up the angled striped ones to take place of these. Love that pointy toe box. Dope shoe. Moving on to the California collection. Got here the Time and Chambray polka dots. Classy looking shoe. The leather accent here on the tag. Also with those rope laces. Like how they threw on that extra color on the outsole here. The flat yellow color. Next we got the DQM Woven Eras. These released a couple years back. Picked these up from the rack for just a steel price. First time I actually found a pair in my size, so I was pretty psyched about that. On to my latest pickup. Got the double tap slip-ons here. Not the biggest fan of slip-ons, but I definitely had to have these in my collection. Those colors are spot on. Go together so well. 
and of course that suede. So look out for review coming up soon on those. Moving on to the two-tone palm leaf airs here. Got that red on the tongue, on tongue trim right here, and also on the toe box and the heel. That pink with the antique white. Love this shoe. This uh, this uh, 11 and a half here is actually a little too small for me, so I hope to pick up a 12 soon, so I'll be wearing these more. Moving on to the Disney collection here from the original series. Just picked these ones up, the Mickey Johns here. Got that quad stitching on the heel, keeping it OG. Had to get all three of these. Probably one of my favorite fault releases of all time, for sure. Got the Winnie the Poohs here. That storm blue colorway. And then, of course, my favorite, the Donald Ducks. Up next, onto the vaults. Got the 40th anniversary Vanasaurus 45 LX. The Van Doren California heel tab. Got that flat blue outsole. These were one of my grails, as I mentioned in the review. Cannot believe the price I got these for and the condition as well. Even came with the OG box. Pretty psyched about that. Unfortunately, these are an 11, so it's a little hard to wear. Hope to find these an 11 and a half or a 12. Maybe even trade with somebody. Another recent pickup here. Got the Taka Derbies. Those of you who know, this is one of my favorite pairs of Vans right here. Does not look like a pair of Vans at all. Taka always keeping it classy. Takahashi. As I mentioned before, this suede... It's just incredible. It's it's it tops the double taps. Hard to say that, but this suede is just crazy. The double taps definitely have some nice suede as well. Probably second second best or third best, but those tacos, that's where it's at. Picked those up in eleven and a half, been looking for that size forever. Picked them up for under retail too, so very happy about those. Up next here, we got the Power Corruption Elias Eras from Supreme. Probably in the most hyped Supreme Vans release in a while. Can't remember the last time a pair of Vans got to the prices that these are going for. So, very hype shoe. No surprise with this all over print. Hype Beast going crazy for these. My girl picked these up for me. 11 and a half couldn't be happier really like this shoe up next you got the jazz stripe anniversary syndicate old school here got those really nice suede the entire upper is made of suede got that silver pro eyelet the gel insole and of course that dry tech material in the interior of the shoe one of the most comfortable pairs of Vans that I own. Very comfortable shoe. Moving on here to the Authentic 69, another Syndicate release. One of my favorite pairs of 2013. Really like this black colorway and of course that pull tab. First time they've done that for an Authentic. Love this shoe. Also features that dry tech technology. Not as comfortable as the old school, but still a comfortable shoe. And then last but not least, we got the West Humpston Authentics. Back from like 2007 or 2006, somewhere around there. Old school syndicate. Back with the drawer boxes. These are a size 11 and a half, but unfortunately they're a little too small for me. The shoe, I guess, ran pretty small so still looking for a 12 these are still ds got that felt graphic on the side here definitely unique with that 
Well, those are all the shoes that I've picked up recently, or at least what I still have. Also got some displays here I want to show you guys. Got the Liberty display, which I still need to pick up a pair of the Liberties. Got some pro cutouts here. The Chima Ferguson. Got the Ave one. And then, of course, the Tony Trujillo. So, got these nice cutouts here. I'm missing the Raleigh one, unfortunately. Got my coffee table book there with my giant air display and then of course my aloha stand up there so just a couple displays i have and then of course my giant banner here also from the van doren series well i hope you guys like this collection video and be sure to stay tuned for more videos